Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where every week I try my very best to pick you out a delightful maths question to help you prepare as best as you possibly can for your forthcoming GCSE Maths exams. Now, all these questions have been kindly provided for diagnostic questions by AQA, Edexcel, OCR, and I pick out ones which, when I look at the data on diagnostic questions, are causing no end of trouble and wait till you see this one. It's probably no surprise this is causing no trouble. Work out the value of x if, what the flipping heck, 15 root x over root five equals six root five. Now, the first question that you should be asking yourself is what topic is this? Well, the root should tell you that this is the topic of surds. We've got a surd alert on our hands here. Now, often a lot of the time uh, when students are studying surds, their emphasis goes into simplifying thirds and also doing the tricky thing, rationalizing the denominator. They're probably the two most common things that come up when it comes to thirds: simplifying and rationalizing the denominator. However, this is the new GCSE, so anything could happen. And here we've got an equation involving a third. Now, it's a lovely question, this, because it requires you to use all your knowledge of thirds, but in a solving equations context. So, Let's do it. Let's just take our time, do the same thing to both sides as we solve any equation and see how far we get. So I'm going to write it out. I have got 15 root x divided by the square root of 5 is equal to 6 square root of 5. Now, just if you've seen any of the other videos with solving equations, you know I like to try and unwrap this x. So I've got an x. It's been square rooted, it's been times by 15, and it's been divided by root 5. To unravel that, I've got to do the last thing first. So I'm going to get rid of a divide by root 5. So I'm going to multiply both sides by root 5. So my left-hand side is just going to stay the same. Well, it'll help if I remember that little one at the start. And my right-hand side is going to be 6 root 5, and then it's going to be multiplied by root 5. Now we've got a problem on our hands here. Before we do our next um, operation to both sides, let's figure out what that is. What's six root five times another root five? Well, if we just bomb up over here a little bit, what's root five times root five? Well, root five times root five is the square root of 25, which is just five. So six lots of root five times root five is just gonna be equal to six lots of five because root five times root five is just five. Be careful with that one. So we end up with 15 root x is just gonna be equal to 30. And now things aren't looking too bad, right? But let's not mess up. Let's get rid of this times by 15 by dividing by 15. So I get the square root of x equals 30 divided by 15, which I think is two. Still not got me answer because I've got square root of x equals two. I want x, so I'm gonna square both sides. So if I square a square root, I just get the number itself, and I've got to square this side, two squared, which is gonna be equal to four. So I get for my final answer, x is equal to four. Is it one of the answers? Whew. Yes, it is, got it right. But before you think you're disappearing, the fun's just getting started because we learn so much from looking at where each of the wrong answers come from. What about answer A, two? Well, I reckon this comes from this line here. Students could have got everything right and then got root x equals two and then just finished there. But it's not root x, we want what x is, x equals two. So just be careful with that one, okay? Now, your other two wrong answers, B and D, I reckon come from making the same mistake. So, and it all occurs around about this line here. So imagine you get there, but you reckon that when you get, so if I just write this out, 15 root x, you reckon when you do six root five times root five, you actually get 30 root five. So if you don't realize root five times root five is five, but you think for some reason you've times your root five by the six to get 30 root five. Well, in fact, you're gonna end up with these two solutions here, okay? If we just follow this through, if I now divide both sides by 15, I'm gonna get two root five, which is gonna be my answer for B. And if I square both sides, I'm gonna get four times five, which is gonna give me my 20, Oop, flip it 20, which is my answer for D. So if you make that mistake with thirds, 
you're going to end up with that as a potential wrong answer. Okay. Um, I was trying to think of other wrong answers that I can see happening. I think this is a nice one. Well, not nice because it's wrong, but imagine you're at this first line here. And what you do is you multiply both sides by root five, but you end up with this. So you get oh, sorry, 15 root x. And then you think if you times six root five by root five, you actually get six times 25. So you forget that it's root 25, you get six times 25. Well then if you follow this through, you're going to end up with six lots of 25, I think are 150. So you're either going to end up with root x equals 10. So you're either going to say for your answer 10, or you might say x equals 100. So I can see some students coming up with that. Now look, we all know thirds are flipping difficult. We've got to simplify them, we've got to rationalize them, we've now got to solve equations with them, we've got to expand brackets with them, all that kind of stuff. My advice is don't panic. They're all right as long as you practice them. The first thing I would do would be try out the rest of this quiz. It's a wonderful quiz. 10 questions on SERS, whatever exam board you're doing, try it out. If you still need help, hop on my Mr. Barton Maths website. You've got videos, you've got worksheets, you've got loads of stuff to help you out. Okay, and I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.